but I'm glad she's okay because me those were the most confused moments of my life from taking her to the incubator oh Thailand alimpeleka mesha sikuenda kumuona nilienda kumuona the next day so after okay tulikuwa tatushafika the next day nilienda kumuona around up to 12 after nimeamka hapo tulienda kulala that was the one of the hardest nights to sleep okay. morning sorry not tonight like one night <laughs> so a lot of things are now happening kai <laughs> to our youtube channel and we're back again with the with the woes wow yeah. if you're new here make sure you subscribe if you are returning subscriber thank you for always being here we appreciate your support we are at 200k right now yeah yeah uh video you are live to go to it right so yeah okay. to jafika to for 199 something mm -hmm. but by the team in africa probably to go to fika so thank you guys for your support so far one of you uh, i had a question on instagram and one of you asked me to do a sit down video about labor and delivery and motherhood and parenthood so far oh jani yet we are nene the delivery yeah yeah from you you guys saw the video but now the story because Oh yeah from the horse's mouth. Yeah. <laughs> hey. Twanze wapi? Yeah the you know the nini? The contractions. Hey. So it ilikuwa around up with one nine. Ilikuwa po ilikuwa around nine and Tyler alikuwa shanza kulalalala. Mimi nikaanza ku feel some sort of pain. Okay, mimi lala a little bit late. Mm. Na na mwamsha na mwambia na throat my whole pregnancy let it be a note that miss kuwai have any type of hata when you are to pa na cramps or anything miss hata on my normal menstruations miss patangi cramps so honestly yeah. miss jujua what cramps feel like sasa <laughs> 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 easy ku but nilikuwa nimesikia na watu that labor inakuwa na move cramps oh. so when you lenza ku feel pain mimi nilikuwa tu na imagine ni, ni cramps for the first like few few hours mm -hmm. eh lakini sasa zilikuwa zinafuatana per hour like 10 of them na kuamsha unaona kan jokes mbona ulikuwa unaona kan jokes na such google wananiletea i think ulikuwa unaona kan jokes just kwa issue kwa any type of pain eh uh, like pregnancy yako yote siko isikia any issue any issue alafu your night unaniambia mimi sasa ndiko naona ni zile normal tuko na times ulikuwa unaniambia unasikia tumbo tumbo yenyewe sasa wacha na baby kuki unasikia tumbo inauma oh. alafu na kwa mimi nilikuwa nisha na nikamwambia ni kukimbilia like the the namwambia sisi kuja pain killers nikiwa pregnant nimeambia sasa tutadu manze to me wadau kaka kuna kitu spend ni kukuwa situation and you wezi help mse wacha kukuwa ile hata ni wezi ji help kukuwa helpless yako hiyo ni a pinch oh. but sasa uko unaona mtu anaumia mtu anapanda mtu anaumia na uwezi ndio kitu understand yeah so hapo mimi nilikuwa nikikwambia like hata nikikuletea maji na kuambia so when kwa ribia kabisa ngoja ngoja kwanza baby so hiyo story ya kunywa maji mali penye ilifika sana nikakuwa ni jo uwezi kunywa dawa ni maji tu na so kunywa maji maji pia ifanye kazi so ikakuwa ni maji inafanya nishinde kibaya nini koko jo wacha nikwambia i think baby alikuwa na press blada after every 20 minutes 10 minutes i was so pressed any tiny bit of so tan alikuwa anogopa kukunywa maji so tyler akinambia ni pay maji nilikuwa tu vile za like hey we kuni unataka kunimaliza ju ni sha choka literally una it was the miss j have quite disturbed evo so your night me na kumga kwanza ju ulikuwa umeniamsha uliniamsha around yeah ulikuwa umejengelea tu hapa before before ile at 3 uliniamsha tu ile like ulikuwa niambia eh but miss skip for me nikakwambia i'll be to relax then relax na karudi do eh ni karudi do na hata nini weirdly ni katry kulala alafu he acha nikwambia nilikuwa na lala miss j i'm sure na uchungu usha lala unaona venye mtu ana umangwa na tumbo na jamaa eh acha tu ni jaribu ni lale una lala una mkoki umepona Yes siku ni kasema cha tu nijike letu ni lala ina lala na amsho tu no every type of pain na feel ina hiyo contraction ina niamsha ina niamsha ina niamsha sab ndo ni kwa amsha 3 nilikuwa nishachoka na feel na feel na lala na mkafta every 20 minutes na lala na ukikaa awake ni painful bado 
So niko tu zile za like eh hey, I'm tired so nikakwamsha kwa sando kaanza kuona ni serious. Mm-hmm. Sasa nimeanza kuita mama. Mimi by the way when alianza saa kusema woi 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 mama. I don't get it is serious. So I think end of time ile yangu ilikuwa around 3:30 sasa. 3:30. Yeye yeah, ndio sana nikakuwa like ile niko a lot says the rude kudos. Yes na just says do anything about the situation but still says utakatua kwa kuwa pain. After that uka amka 3:30 sasa ndo kaanza kushughulika twende kwa sisi. Na kumke hiyo time hadi ndio tulikuwa tunatafuta sana nene eh namba ya doc. Ndio simu yako ilikuwa imezima. Simu yangu ilikuwa imezima. Si one guy enye shetani. Simu yake ile ilikuwa imezima. Simu moja like simu moja ndio pekee yake ndio tulikuwa tumemcall na. Eh na hiyo timu yangu watu kusikwa na namba yake ni personally. Sasa ndio nasema hiyo ndio tulikuwa tumetumia ku call. Unajua hiyo time tulikuwa tumeenda tu only one clinic. So tulikuwa tumeona ile ajia kushinda tuki call call dog. Tunajua si tunaenda tunapata na dog. So hiyo time eh mimi nikajua ju e tulikuwa najua hiyo namba ya dog tutaitumia. Simu yako ilikuwa imezima na charger yako juu sasa hiyo ulikuwa na iPhone mimi nilikuwa na type C chaja iPhone si juu ilifanyika nini ya usiku the previous day before umekumbuka oh, so tungeweza kucharge nini ilikatikia hapo mwisho kwa nini mm, so tungeweza kucharge simu yako tungeweza kucharge simu na kumbuka just say your number ili budi sasa tuitishe na nini jeff Yeah, so say your time nikaanza kumtext manze pia eh, Jeff. <laughs> yeah, manze anashuka na jana shindo ni rada ni gani ndio akanipatia namba ya doc. Eh, doc sasa tukam call tukamwambia tunaenda akatuambia twende ngware. Tulikuwa around 5. Eh around 5 hapo ndio your time to come. Hadi tulikuwa tunamuuliza kati twende saa hiyo. Akatuambia tukujie. Akatuambia twende tu immediately. So tukajita Tricia tukajina. <laughs> other preparations na uche nikwambie guys <laughs> Taylor alikuwa tu hapo anaoga akaji paka di perfume mimi niko zile za tunatoka kwa nyumba saa ngapi because me mimi sikujipaka perfume ulijipaka rolon sasa perfume ndio tuliacha oh eh. sasa mimi nilikuwa nashangaa mbona unatafuta hizo extra mimi nataka tu tutoke kwa nyumba kai sasa nilikuwa jua rolon tanzania but hiyo place kuna kwa gana jua sana so oh, bwana so... wana wana <laughs> <laughs> jua sasa nakumbuka mi... jua ukumbuki jiji amnasikia uchungu babe sasa si kama ni uchungu connect na kuna kitu ningeti si, the only way ndio babe una thing kama like, hata siko anaweza perfuming ingenichukua how many seconds kuchukua si ile seconds ni kusave how ni kusave how long reason na ikumbuka vizuri ni juu haikuwa around uko na ita kuta after sini one minute tu ningeipata okay sawa so basi niende nikunukishie jasho huko haraka sasa ni guess kiasi na so tukaita gari tukapanda gari na tukaanza kuenda i think you guys saw that video tukapata hadi na traffic eh anyway hiyo siku mimi nakwambia gari ilikuwa inagonga tu hivi bump nasikia kaa naweza toka nayo Oh, <laughs> but for another thing me ps you know na tukao tunajua like is in the real real contract oh, yeah, so tukao tunaenda all this time and that was just any false flavor because so, me nime fanya uh, kind of research research nimeona kuna vitu zinaitwa braxton hicks so me in my in my mind najua ni hizo mm-hmm. so like me nilikuwa najua at the end of the day si kitu fetal inatupeleka or si bad ka kwa ni to have kwa admit you ama nilikuwa nataka ni ku prepare the end reason mimi hata sasa ndio mind yangu ilikuwa na mimi nilikuwa tunauliza tuafika usi sasa ngapi wanipea dawa niache kusikia hivyo juu bado haija hit ni real labor kweli so tukafika usi tukapatana tuka tukaona na doki na nas wakatusaidia saidia uchungu kadi siku nikadunga masindano mm. na wakatuambia tukaikai for some time sasa doctor nyamo and the nurses and we were there for like almost the whole day waki check how i'm doing By the time na bado sisi hatutaki admit him. Manze sisi. So, so, so tuna push. Ana ni loser. Unasikia vizuri? Mhm. <laughs> But at that same isha reduce a cough frequency. Mm-hmm. Iko inakuja yes but tuju amenidunga madawa za ku reduce reduce pain in my arm. True. So tukadunga sindano fulani ya kumachua lungs zake. Alafu the next one tukambiwa tuta na kani kama wewe naambia story. Yes, I like to keep any audience engaged na macho yangu. I love the next one. Tukaambiwa tuta tutafute asad just akatuandikia the type of injection na kwenye tunaweza ipata and you just around in 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 hospital around. Just look at the mbili alipigo moja hosi ingine alikuwa anapata tu after 12 12 hours. 
he, sisi asubuhi so tukakuja home tukalala hiyo hiyo usiku honestly haikuwa so bad kama the previous night eh yeah, ulipata kama usingizi niliweza hata kulala but bado kulikuwa na pain eh na sasa hiyo hadi nakumbuka tulikall dog tukamwambia ka pain bado kako but akatuambia like si nene akatuambia to count eh utuna ah akatuambia to count apana tulimcall tukamwambia akatuambia ina depends at to explain your your pain venye na una feel Mm. Alafu sasa venye tukamwambia jitu tunaenda kudongo hii sindano nyingine kesho so badala ya hatuku hapo kurudi husi. Oh yeah, tutakurudi. Kwanza tuende hii tu hiyo sindano nyingine huko kwingine. Na early in the morning sasa the next morning nikapata Walafu ngambia usipi reason ya mbona doka alikuwa na hii sindano tulikuwa tuna hapo pewa. Oh, hii sindano ni ya ku mature lungs zake. I think when the power shot on the possibility mm. ya baby anaweza come early. So, wakati ku precaution ya kutudunga sindano ya kufanya lungs zake zimeacha. Also not a uh, juice like no one saw this coming even doc like everyone jio dead kienda hakupimwa nini kuna kama dilate oh dilation jo i'm sure ongeona maybe hiyo time ilikuwa around 6 reason how kutaka kupima dilation ukipima ju ina trigger ga jo hakukuwa na any signs of dilation to start zero zero signs ah okay jo so nakumbuka sign ya dilation ile ambayo sanga pe the next day the next day nikapata start discharge ilikuwa blood ah baby hapo ndio ilianza true 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 it's up on the dilation ilianza So after to to copy get doc now definitely apo ko na something it is something now that baby baby is on the way <laughs> umeruka umeruka <laughs> tunaenda systematically oh. the next day umeenda tumetafuta hiyo sindano umedungwa umedungwa tumerudi kwa nyumba mm-hmm. kurudi kwa nyumba Tyler alikuwa na photo shoot ya birthday <laughs> so actually Tyler tells me we go so mm-hmm. mimi what ile kwa on that day money the next day Yes, yes, kwa sasa tumekuja tumetoka hosi oh, tume, the previous day tumelala tume tumeenda sindano alafu tulikuwa tunaenda shoot ju sasa the next day ndio ilikuwa na the next day pia tuko na event gender reveal gender reveal Hey so at this point at a mimi apart from Miko Tuesday za Mr. Kim to akuje jumi na tukafanya gender reveal and why lie why lie so because we like see a whole to kidogo Uh, anyway tukatoka tukakuja tukasa tukaanza kwenda Risa. Taylor akaniambia tuende. Ah mimi hata wacha niwaambie ungeona vitu nilikuwa nimeva mimi nilikuwa nimeva kama mtu ameenda hapa kwa duka na narudi kwa nyumba. Why well, lie? Like. <laughs> uh, Yohan meva nini? Ilikuwa sweat pants ya pink uh, na t-shirt fulani na black. Uh, na sandals za pink. Ah uh, ah uh. Ulgo mwanda tu ndo mnachomoka tunaenda na gari. Sasa mko tuleza ah wacha juni kwa moyo ndo tumeenda tu kwa nyumba na tunarudi. Alafu say you definitely na still chungu so acha sina hiyo time ya kufanya anything. Eh pregnancy will humble you. Pregnancy is the ghetto. So uh, after that tukaenda host tukaenda kwa mwendo venye tulifika kwa mwendo Tyler Ebuka ni story ni ni naanza ku emotional. Fasiana. Zi, semu kweli ni mom brain inaanza ku disappoint. Man, so. Nanza ku forget. Nanza ku forget. Are you serious? Eh, so tukafika kwa mwendo na kumka hiyo day shoot ilienda piti, ulikuwa na record mo BTS hapo, mwendo akipiga mo shoot zake. Kingi hapo, so no ile time ile tulingia saa kucheza nene games na maboys hapo ndio nikasikia di unasema pain inakuja ukambia ule dem hadi Carol eh Carol sone tulikuwa na Carol sone kwa shoot mimi nime try kwa strong but unajua ka pain bado kakikugonga huko tu hadi akaniuliza uko show kwa sawa mimi niko chozeleza mm nikatafuta di ice cream ndio ni keep busy wala hey jesus alafu for say in my mind in a register ni false labor Eh eh sasa ndio unajua lazima tu zikuwe lazima zikuwe so ni kwa mind yangu tu tumelikuwa najiuliza ni nitafeel hivi for the next 7 weeks ju tulikuwa katika oh yeah hapo ndio nakunguka kusema hadi ukiniambia gari akini nitafeel hivi for the next 7 weeks ju kuna kwenda lu ya tuka call sasa hapo ni Tyler mama yeye ndiye nilifanya mimi by the way nilikaa hivi nikwa leo unaanza kuniambia ju nikarealize nyaka kama hii ndio day 1 ile 
kusumbulia nilisumbulia ile dia kwenda ni contraction you know kumko kwa so mad that me unalala je nilikuwa zile unalala je na mimi nasikio chungu na ninakwambia nasikio chungu sasa mimi naelewa juzani uchungu wenye unasikia but pasawe tutapasawe alafu mimi naona je niko na nikiwa na mausingizi siwezi kusaidia je niko na kushikilia tu nasikia tu kula but then nilikuwa namwamsha anaamka na mume nasikio chungu sani kupe maji sasa tuna pinkile sana niletea maji. Alafu akishampa maji, anatishika tu hivi anaolewa. Sasa unaona wada indio reason na nyenye nilijua venye niliambiwa he another seven weeks of kusikia hivi na kajua hata kupigia dog to mom. Mimi here sasa wendo wa admitiwe. Ukai uko hizo seven weeks. Ukai uko hizo. So na sasa ile kwa round 10 ulimaliza shoot ya college. Yeah, ile kwa round 9:30. 9:30. So tukasema he wacha tu twende hosi. Tuse hiyo sana pinico. Iko tena na ina ishanza za kuasika vinyo ilikuwa asubuhi. Tukapanda alafu one funny thing. Unaona nikiwa kwa gari kama hakuna bumps. Like nikiwa na kitu na ni keep busy siko na feel so much pain. Lakini wacha ati ni kwetu nimekaa hivi nde. Kaoka kana ki. Hizo ma bumps ni pain distraction. Ah bumps zilikuwa pain but tukienda tuk, straight kama tutapata na tuna bumper tu kuna movement kuna movement eh nilikuwa na feel okay mm. so tukapanda gari tuka tukaenda tuka, tuka hadi hosi sasa kwa Maroc kufika hosi kwa Maroc alafu one weird thing mom called me tukiwa kwa gari mm, mm, akaniuliza mm. uko ni kamwambia tunaenda hosi akaniambia uko shuka sana kamwambia mimi niko sana niko sawa tukaenda tu hosi kuchekiwa tuoneka kila kitu iko sawa akaniambia sawa basi na hiyo story tuike shapo but usisahau bado in mind kesho mimi tuko na event so mimi najua tunaenda hosi twende home alafu kesho tukue na event mimi hosi naenda tu wanifatia dawa zitaridisi ya uchungu sasa vizuri mm. Na nyesa ita induce. Ita sasa siku induce. Ya hiyo ndio jina. But yani ita reduce. Ita reduce. Kuinduce ni kufast and labor. Oh, okay. Mungu mpaka like grammar school leo. Sawa. <laughs> so. Anyway, tulikuwa mm-hmm. tumefika hapi? Eh hapo kwa ku reduce ulikuwa na ndo ulikuwa na jetu na ndo kwa madawa za reduce. Labor na yesterday she were she like Okay in mind that I see labor so naenda tu ku reduce your pain e false labor kama venye walifanya jana ah true in mind you bado you are keeping you ongeze ma sindano like hiyo na kumkadi ulikuwa sawa like au kwa tunaanza kuongea venye saini 9 so tufikie hosi by hapo hivyo 10:30 tukae hosi for like 2 hours alafu by 1 turudi kuna outfit yangu nilikuwa nimetumiwa utanichukulia asubuhi then sasa tutoke asubuhi jo nilikuwa ninda kupakua makeup in the morning <laughs> jokes on us so we get to the hospital we we find the nurses there and wakati wakatupima saa wanapima kama nime umedilate umedilate your girl has dilated 8 cm where in short <laughs> only two ndo zimebaki akimuna jana juli zanga tunge decide tu kukuja kwa nyumba hiyo siku sikuongeenda aje tumekuwa na whole different delivery story aki tumekuwa tu ndi deliver juu ya nini tunge kwa bypass hata <laughs> si kwa bypass juu yeah. unless maji inge break na maji yangu haiku break ile by the way maji now kama break maji yangu hainge break bado in my mind mimi ningekuwa na false labor so by the time maji ndio tuna break ndio kwa tu Hey, anyway. Let's think of the positive of how it happened. Kanye. I think I think Mungu pia anapanga na time yake. Mm, kwa kwa So me I feel like that to say you. And to say you have nyinge happen but anyway in kama to God's timing and Mungu kutupatia his ways Mungu alituonesha the way to go yeah, the way yeah. to go was hospital. Funny thing like I didn't even anakwambia to me is pokoni just your scare ya kuona kuona ukipitia pain hizo 7 weeks ilikuwa na ni propel kupigia dog mm-hmm. but there was some other things that were happening behind that nilikuwa like is oh, una pigu na push the next day tuko na event oh a, 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 a,
ni necessary when the whole see ama kuna ama iko sawa venye unaweza enda nini event alafu saa kesho tuende whole see Oh yeah, true. So, I can tell you to end there. Yeah, and to end there, 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 in the reason ata unapata haku ata ju si tulimwambia tukielekea mbona tuko mmetu huko je hata yeye alikuwa anajua mnakuja tu muongezewe hiyo dawa ya nini alafu tuende huko alafu kesho tuende event ju alikuwa hadi alikuwa anashangaa tuko na event but kaambia si tuko sawa tunaenda tunaenda mimi hata nilikuwa nasema hiyo event here ni ende tu nikae chini the whole time na uchungu yangu lakini nione tu imehare manze ju at end of the day tushalipa vendors tushalipa wase wa food like kila kitu ilikuwa ni tulikuwa tu sorted na tushalipa location na there are people who can't return money he tukafika hosti wakatupima wakapata ni regulated centimeters sawa hapo ndo wakaanza communication na doc doc akakuja akatwanga letu hivi akatwambia saa akania wakaanza juu saa bado mmekumna kumka nimedunga sindano nyingine hiyo sindano nilidungwa around 11 10 mm. so tunafaa to buy time hiyo hiyo nayo iko imefanya kazi so hiyo time bado tukifika hatungeanzia saa hiyo hiyo ndio ilikuwa reason like baby yes tungetaka ange kama ta fifth angekuja fifth vizuri sana. but the reason how come fifth ni kwa sababu lazima hiyo dawa ya to get right sana kupaita ndio dawa iwa jua mtoi jua tungetaka ku risk like dawa isiku imefikia kwa mtoi alafu akam alafu akwa na difficulties za kubreak he so tuka akakuja wakanyeka on trip ya ku survive time okay i don't know how that happened <laughs> but eh, that is all i know so tambia <laughs> tu out. Out. <laughs> Ile, ya nilikuwa nasikia uchungu na bado mkumbuke bado niko in pain set in pain inaenda bado nasikia uchungu but sasa doc akatwambia nikisikia tu uchungu imekuwa extra nisivumilie niseme so when uchungu ilikuwa extra kwa ndo tukawaambia ndo sasa doc akaanza kukuja mm, nakumbuka like si tulingia kwa nene tulikuwa kwa hiyo labor room mm-hmm. ah siko labor kwa delivery mm-hmm. tulingia kwa delivery hapo like ukinene ukiangalia ulikuwa unaangalia kwa hiyo bed ni kwa delivery so oh, yeye ilikuwa ni either tu sasa tu, tukaa kwa hiyo room ya del, ya, ya labor sasa tu chill doc mm-hmm. like ndio tumwa watu waambie kama pain na ndio kidwa dile iv alafu uende chill saa au relax kwa bed yeah true sando apo involve and you skip in imekuwa extra tukamcall akakuja tukamcall sasa tukaambiwa ana come yeah sando yeah. venye alikuja tukaenda kwa deliver mm. na mimi labor yangu watu wana watu people say I was calm but it is because it was painful <laughs> just a funny thing is we did not record the main part of the labor just any it is the eos siku nzima because day. we thought it was false labor but it was there and i labored for long True. i think i labored for over 24 hours for over 24 hours well I... but because mimi in my mind na journey false contractions if even really happen immediately niliambiwa i'm going through real labor my guys nilianza ku feel your pain triple <laughs> i think it was type of mental mm, peer psychological just an eco he labor so nikaanza ku feel some now that pain extra now to kind of delivery room also something else that maybe made what you want to say mama was calm mm. something else maybe naweza kuifanya ni kwa that calm with the fact that in my mind baby is coming at 33 weeks it is now official mimi I, it was so unexpected i'm scared i'm like atakuja akiwa sawa like there are so many things that are running through my mind at is na overtake you chungu at some point kweli juna lala tu nikifikiria eh kesho tuko na event sasa naanza ku cancel watu waje like they were, there were so many so many so many so many things happening your night your night like me hata nilikuwa naona hawa wajui kile wanasema Ah, uh, mimi baby akuji itafika hapo saa 9 tuende home. Ndio vitu tuende home. Exactly. Do you think me cancel what after baby amekuja actually? Sina kumbuka. Tulikuwa tumeweka on hold. On hold. Hey. Tukaingia delivery room and 
Ilikuwa around what? But around 30 for maybe I'll for 15. Kwa we stayed like 30 minutes kwa delivery room before baby came. Sasa tuki eh maka break water. Mbona nasahau hapo? Manze kwanza tuliingia kitu ya kwanza ni ika confirm hiyo nene same day late say it ilikuwa 10. Sikumbuki. Eh ilisema 10 na 9 one of the two. I guess ni 10. Sikumbuki. Hata ni sikumbuki. Venye wali to break ati wali to break <laughs> kama ni breakiwa venye wali break maji mimi let me tell you i've never felt such pain in my in my life like after okay ata ku break maji ilikuwa uncomfortable na painful but the pain now that i was feeling after maji me break is a contraction says i think now those are is a contraction in my twin after the maji mimi nilikuwa nasikia kama hiyo time tukikuliza mapesa hapo tukitembea tembea nilikuwa nasikia kama akili yangu iko niko tu zile za guy huyu mtoto atatoka saa ngapi so by the time ata na deliver miskumbuki pin ya kupush juu nilikuwa nataka tu atoke like misku i swear to god kumbuki pin ya kupush wala na si ata sikumbuki kilikuwa painful ama kama haikuwa painful because mimi I, w- i just wanted her to be out to some people how did you feel feeling feeling you have said you don't come like after you seen her my feeling like i relieved your time so to push baby you na kumbani ki record okay na nilikuwa naangalia huko eh nikisema no nikisema naona migu kitu kina happen ni but the chin is singing ona so kitu li happen ni first thing i saw from our baby was nyole yake ule mpush nyole ikachomoka kiasi yeah. ika protrude even kona haoza ah, haoza <laughs> sasa by that time nothing i could see kwa nimeshtuka up until that point but after kuona like sasa nini nyole inje the next thing niliona ni ukiambe you know so ki push doka uh, alikona kufinya huku mm-hmm. una push kiende hivi chini mm-hmm. so kitu ile happen even your brain kama alichomoka alafu sasa hizo stuff zote za zilikuwa hiyo maji yote na nini what is it called mm-hmm, everything eh uh, amniotic fluid is or stuff come after ku break your maji kitu ile happen ni kuli tumbo iliingiana na ndani ili ha, ili kani kama iko na vacuum ni inaweza pressika so me when i saw the legs i saw the legs from inside the stomach okay ikinuliwa unaona tumbo iko hivi iwe finyo hivi like sasa mguu juu kichwa liko natoka hivi kwa sababu miguu zake zilikuwa hivi eh na jone miguu like even the reason even the reason sababu juu alinua ndio kiniambia unaona miguu hata iko ni hit like me i swear nilikuwa na feel encouraged wala like so kid no no me go push 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 in my mind iko hata mimi haiko ina register huyu anaweza kuwa na nichocha kwa ni mtu anatokanga na miguu ah pana unaona mimi sasa juu at the end of the day mimi sikuona kichwa sasa siko anataka ni kuchocha ni kwambia ni mwana kichwa na mimi sijaona kichwa hiyo ni nyinyoele like niliona unajua ile itokea tu ile itokea tu kiasi hivi so mimi kitu nilikuwa na dai ni niona something tangible kama ni kichwa yote nje So when you go in the zone as you know kaivi nikajua bed me kitu limpani nikajua bed yako so we feel relieved ni kona yani huyu mtu yana chomoka hata kama kwa 33 kama ana kick hivyo ana inua mguu niko fit mocha ni mambe guys it was the scariest moment when you in kwanga the happiest moment for some people me for me it was the scariest moment of my life is a is a 15 seconds ago no eh? immediately like ali talk ali immediately ali talk ali skia after the whole process which is similar to the whole process after the journey come because i was like number one, baby at 33 weeks she's definitely going to the incubator i'm not going with her she's going to be alone set in term hold at itukaina yeye Where did you find that sketch? But I don't know thing that I think I'm going to not 15 seconds, 30 seconds max. Ile mm-hmm. after kichwaki protrude kiasi. I think shoulders and the rest of the baby I'll talk to wow. like with one push. Ju kitu li happen sana ni nikiangalia hapo sana nikikwambia naona miguu focus yangu ikatoka huko chini. Nikaanza saa kuangalia wewe reaction yako. Ju ni sasa ndio likuna. Unatingika unatingika like nikishaanza kushika. Eh unashika alafu nilikuwa na kuangalia naona send una feel your most pain. Alafu na bado ni courage ndio push. So hadi wasiwa kiwatch vlog atoni hiyo point ili camera ile switch 
more more ni kwa sura yako jod me mwenyewe pia ni kwa kuangalia more kwa sura and i get so siku after like kunene kuna kichwa siku ana anything else mm-hmm. uko down stand in your mm-hmm. after 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 mtu yeye ametolewa sasa nini ikikatwa god like sasa pondi ukarudisha attention yangu sasa hapo hata ndio ile relax sasa ni uko god leader kai mimi but kenya na sema ni me it was the scariest moment of my life is a is a moment is a push like just the thought of is she going to be okay the thought of atenda kwa incubator the thought of amekuja ali the thought of she will too tiny kuliko tuna so many things because in a kick i was happy kwanza when ali toka niko na ali ali lia niko sana kwa kwa relief ako sawa that was one fee kaenda So my next fear was the incubator. Do you attend all in Pelepa ko incubator ni nilikuwa naoga. Mkimpeleka ko incubator. Mkampeleka ujue bado sayo mimi na feel sickly sickly in kutoka kwa mwa. Me wa let to say that is. But I'm glad she's okay because me those were the most confused moments of my life. From taking her to the incubator oh thailand all impeleka meters ko enda ko mwana lenda ko mwana the next day so after okay tulikuwa tatshafika the next day ngilenda ko mwana around up to 12 after ni nam kapwa ni lenda ko lala that was the one of the hardest nights to sleep morning so not tonight like one night <laughs> so a lot of things are now happening kai when which was got too complicated at this point people sasa hiyo ni hata na shida tukoongea so yeah the next morning we come ka tukaenda tukaangalia baby kuna matumika like was in her at that time you alikuwa me box gen ukimwona akiwa me box gen na ngali unaona wa yuko kalikuwa kanitulia eh hakuwa na cry hakuwa na chachisha i think hakuwa na nguvu juhe the astra is so that day versus the astra i'm with in the house right now two different people <laughs> yeah, it's called to a wife ametulia tu size and a scream at me but na jo na shangaa tu akiwa like so yeah si tukaenda tuko na watoto eh funny thing me me nearly get so relieved ile time tuliambiwa nene like as in i need oxygen tunakumbuka tukiambiwa by jioni tukaambiwa like itakuwa imetolewa sasa hata iko tuko incubator just ku monitoriwa angaliwe but like breathing problems akuwa hapo mimi sasa nikakuwa relax kuna kwa pain cubate ilikuwa hurting like me kwanza at some point nilikuwa na jubilee nilikuwa na feel ni kama nilikuwa na shida kijuleza i kwani what did i do during the pregnancy like yeah ndo sasa kuje ali because at some point i felt like it was my fault like i kwani what did i do wrong Anyway, now after some research kuna research that most young people when they deliver at a young age kuna, kuna possibility to, kuna high possibility of giving birth to a preterm baby. Hey, after that sasa ni ako kwa incubator so tuko tu kwa hosina mimi I was me at a stuck like those are the most confusing times of my life. Siko na jielewa, siko na jua anything. Nilikuwa tu hapo tu napita tu na wave like vitu zilikuwa zina happen point is things were happening too fast mm-hmm. you know what mom amekuja alafu you know the way hakuna mtu anafikiria anga ati kitu mbaya inaweza kufanyikia me sijui mbona me kaona it can it can be mm-hmm. because also kuna bish changu alikuwa me delivered 28 weeks mm-hmm. nakumbuka yeah like you never see like it can be you so like seeing it happen you got to realize that like i when you what is happening what but god had his reasons and as long as baby is healthy i think the thing i should attack to me this idea you got to realize that not as amekuja ali she's healthy it couldn't have been worse and as i think before 20 something i think before 28 or 26 i'm not sure in a when a it's it's a miscarriage it's not a preterm baby so at least she waited until 33 when yeah. you are mentioning you are a preterm baby mm. hey 
so hosi time ni kakuje kaisha ivo alafu she had round it also that was so difficult yeah me na akini lia nakumbuka like score imagine katafungwa macho kai kewe like your phototherapy your phototherapy then akahile and now we came home and guys that was a one day by and oh another i think me kwa gari when you start to panda gari i think in get under the last statement when you can't mama in kapa me na atro mm ukapa ni mama na mtu just that kila mtu ya kujitajua just that kila mtu mwenye alikuwa anakaa kutuona gifts alikuwa analeta hofu oh i said to notify to what this is after a few days after like 6 days 6 days yes so in the school it was discharged so in between is it 6 days it was two year ni as ya kwa point q beta so that that kim ni breastfeed on salimia but advantage ni kwa maroko alikuwa anaitikia unaenda 24/7 in time eh uh, true as long as you're the parent kwele job will go to only parents Anyway, so Watuambie <laughs> 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 Na kum, mi, mi siju, I, I just got emotional all over sudden because of you here and I remember I told God something mm. you had your reasons but me the only thing I'm going to ask from you just keep my baby healthy all these other things I will I, I'll try my best to manage you going to go and and yeah and I keep doing it yes god did and god does <laughs> Thank you guys for viewing this video part 2 we're going to do how motherhood and postpartum depression has been true and there you know big journey in apia our challenges of like adjusting oh, how to our new routines how everything changed hey, because this is the ghetto well come come on misunderstanding since you kwa kwa couple i think in the time but i'm glad like Yes. God did. Yeah, God did. God yes. does. God always does. You're done. Catch you on the next one.